Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, we'll see how to animate the toggle button. And when we are done with this tutorial, the toggle button animation would look something like this. So let's start from what we left off in our last video. So here we have a simple toggle button and the transition between the states would look by default like this. So to make it interesting, so let's start animating it. So I'll start by adding the animated view component and you see I've already imported it. Now let's style the animated component. I'll add the background color as red and let's make this view to occupy the available touchable opacity space by providing flex. So okay. So you see that animated view is placed on our button now. Now let's change the shape of our animated view to look similar to touchable opacity. So I'll pass the border radius as 30, same as the touchable opacity. So, so we got the similar shape, but we have our text placed below the animated view. So let's move the text inside the animated view and let's see how it would look. Okay, now the animated view occupied the entire touchable opacity but our text is placed on the top so since it's moved inside new container we have to place the text in the center so we'll do it by passing just a content as center let's see how this would look so now we have created the animated view we have configured it so to create uh, the animation, we need an animated variable. So let's create it in our state and you can do it like this. And let's have the value as zero as initial value. And on clicking of a button, we want to start our animation. So on press, I'll call this function called this dot animate button. And now I'll define that function. So in animate button, I'll create my animation and that's of type timing. So for that I'll pass my variable which is in my state and I'll configure this animation and I want to do a scale animation that's why I have my initial value 0 and I want it to scale from 0 to 1 which is from uh, 0 size to original size and I want this animation to be executed for 1 second so I've passed duration as 1 second so now I'll start this animation by calling start function. So once this function animate button is called, the animation gets executed. So I've configured my animation now, but I have to apply this animation to my animated view. So I'll do that by passing a transform layout prop, which takes an array as a parameter. And since we are doing a scale animation, I'm passing a scale object and whose value is determined by the animated value which is in our state which makes the scale animation to happen and I'm just passing the animated value here but I'll show you a different way of doing it by doing interpolation so if you want to do a different way the scale to happen then you can do a mapping so by passing input range and output range here since I'm doing a straightforward scaling the the mapping is 1 to 1 so input range 0 1 and output range is also 0 1 so instead of that we can just pass animated but I just wanted to show this to you guys now let's see how this would look like so on first click we are seeing the animation but not later so that's because uh, the animation has reached its final state so we have to reset the, reset the state so we can do it like this so we are resetting it back to zero so on every click we see the animation is happening from zero to one so now now what we'll do is we'll change the animation based on the state of the switch so let's pass the new state value to our animate button and in the animate button we'll ch change the 
the initial state and the final state of our animation by checking the new state value so if, if the new state is true then we'll do 0 to 1 scaling and if it is false then we'll do 1 to 0 scaling so, so we did that for the initial state now we'll do it for the final state to value I think that should do it now let's see how the animation would look like uh, okay we see the scale in and scale out animation so but you see the text is also scaling along with the view that's because we have placed it inside so let's move the text outside but we know by moving out it will be placed in the bottom so we'll change the positioning of the animated view by changing the position type from regular to from normal to absolute and we'll say this animated view to occupy the entire uh, touchable opacity by passing 0 to left or right and bottom let's see how it looks okay so the text is not animating now so now let's change the color of the animated view to match with the touchable opacity so that's dodge up blue and okay now we see scale out but not the scale in that's because the button background is also dodge up blue now let's change it to white so that we'll see the scaling effect cool so now we have both scale in and scale out and now let's customize the configuration values and see how we can make it look different so there is this option called easing you can pass different easing on uh, values so let me just pass bounds and i've already imported easing here so let's see how this would change our animation effect cool right with just a simple configuration changes you can make your animation transition different and like timing there is a spring you can do so spring animation but i have not done any configuration changes so you won't be seeing much of a change when compared to timing now let's remove this button background we don't need this anymore as the color transition is done by animated view so let's pass white to the background color and just remove the check and now uh, everything looks good here now let's look into the initial state so here we have by default off state so what happens if we change our default state to true uh, we were expecting blue here but we just see white background and from then on we see state is fine so if you refresh back and go back to default state again we see just white background so that's because our animated value is not in sync with the toggle state so whenever the toggle state is true our animated initial value should be one and vice versa so see that got our animated button working properly so now if i change it to false all i have to do is change the animated value to zero and that's it guys we got our toggle button to do the transition effect as we wanted and in the beginning i thought i could not do it this kind of a transition effect but when i played around with it i was able to find this way of doing it and i wanted to share with you guys and i presume there is a better way of doing it and please um, feel free to share in the comments if you guys know any until next time have fun coding and thanks for watching